Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Quest again with your weekly vapor reviews. Now, this week we are doing my monthly sample box. I got six flavors from them, five of which I have not had. One of them I have, uh, but I don't remember if I did a review on it. You guys might remember. I unfortunately don't. Um, but we are going to go straight down the list with one exception. There is a menthol flavor, which we will save to last because, as we all know, dripping menthol can be kind of hurt, you know, painful. So we'll find out. Uh, but the six flavors I've got for us today are Big Haze by Atlas. It is a spiced hazelnut custard, subtly spiced hazelnut custard from the description. Handy dandy tasting chart. Uh, so this one smells absolutely fantastic. We'll give this one a shot in a minute. Next up on the list is the Layered Lemon Cake. That's the name of it. It is a creamy citric dessert. It is by E Pure. Now, uh, opening this, it smells absolutely fantastic. It smells like a layered lemon cake. Actually, more specifically, it smells like a layered pound cake. So let's, or a lemon pound cake. So let's go ahead and give this one a shot after, of course, when we get to it. Uh, but it just smells amazing. Uh, so. Next on the list is the menthol. It is uh, menthol chill. It is delicate menthol blend. It is by Hot Vapes. Now, Hot Vapes has not failed me yet. I've had a few of their flavors in my sample boxes in the past, and they're all usually pretty good. The last flavor I had from them was the Berry Bliss Chill, which was the berries and menthol flavor, which was absolutely phenomenal. I still have a little bit left because I just kind of like vape that one on the go. You know, every like sparingly because it's so good, I don't want to, you know, use all of it in one sitting because I could. <laughs> uh, but this one we're going to save for last. This one, it, it may end up actually being one of those things, one of those bottles of menthol that I keep laying around to add a couple drops to other flavors just to give it that little bit of menthol bite that I do enjoy from time to time. I don't know. We'll find out. Next on the list, and I know I said that, but next on the list is Oblivion. I love that name. Uh, Oblivion is by Serum, and I love this bottle. The decal is just really cool. I love the little ohm symbols, or not the ohm symbols, but you know what I mean. Uh, I love the symbols and everything on here. It's just very simplistic. Like, the sticker on here is just so seamless. Like, it blends in with the bottle very well. Like, you can barely ever see a seam. Like, even running your finger down it, you can barely feel the seam. Uh, I, the best way I could describe it is, have you ever had a <laughs> I know you have. But have you ever had a roll of electrical tape and you just can't find the, the, the seam for the next rip? Yeah, no. That's what that's like, that bottle. And it's actually really cool. Uh, the next flavor is Red Whip. This is the one I've had before. Now, again, I don't remember if I've done a review. If I have, sorry, burp. If I have, feel free, drop me a line, say, hey, you idiot, you've done that one. It happens. I've done so many of them. Uh, but it is a strawberry cream. Oh, the Oblivion, sorry. Strawberry guava vanilla cream. The Red Whip is just ripe strawberries and vanilla cream and fresh cream. The uh, next flavor on the list is V's ADV, Adiv, I don't know, uh, but it is by Suck My Juice. I love that juice, that, that maker's name, because, I mean, come on, I'm sarcastic, I'm an asshole, I love it, it's great, <laughs> uh, but it is also another strawberry flavor, it's strawberries and cream, so I've got three strawberries and cream flavor for us today, a couple custards, it's all basically dessert flavors. Um, except for that menthol, which is the bliss, uh, the menthol chill. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Uh, I got my soda, got everything I need. We are doing the black and red Relo RX 200. It is coming in at 110 um, watts, 4.81 volts at a 2 point, or 0 0.21 ohm. Um, black and red, of course, because, you know, and it's my double vision. We should, go. oh, coils. Coils were built, these coils were built by a guy out in Pittsburgh, actually. Um, his name's Cody. He works at a shop that's out there in Robinson. You should definitely look into him if you live out that way or whatnot, because he is an amazing coil builder. Like I've got a couple of the coils uh, for you know replacement that I got from him when I was out there, and he just does a phenomenal job. You know he can build you just about anything you want. He's he's on point. All right, so that's what I've got. 
Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with the Big Haze. I love this bottle, guys. Like, it is all black. It's like that painted black glass. And I'm going to keep this bottle around because it's just so cool. I'll probably peel the label off, but it's just really nice. I will never know when it's empty, but it's just it just looks really cool. Black being one of my favorite colors, that makes sense for me. This is the Subtly Spiced Hazelnut Custard. So let's go ahead and give this a shot, guys. Fantastic vapor production. It's still coming down out of the air over here. Um, it is very subtle. The hazelnut isn't really, isn't strong. It doesn't pop. Um, the custard is very creamy. It's very smooth. It's a very subtle flavor. Uh, it, honestly, I hate to say it, but it's kind of bland in my opinion. Like, they could have stepped it up a little bit. It's sweet. It is very sweet. But it's not got that hazelnut custard I'm expecting. When I hear, uh, you know, hazelnut, I'm thinking like hazelnut coffee or Nutella or something. You know, some one of those flavors that's just really strong. This one isn't it. It's very subtle. It's very smooth. It's creamy. It's a nice one to have around... Um, as a palate cleanser, for example, say, you know, you're vaping on some, you know, strong flavors and you want something smooth, you want something subtle, you want something small that's not going to kill your throat because this has absolutely no throat hit whatsoever. This would be the one I'd recommend for you. It's definitely a good flavor. Um, they could have popped it a little bit more. They could have added a little bit more to it and made it a little bit stronger. But as it is, I enjoy it. It's not bad. I can't say it's going to be an all-day vape for me, but it's definitely something I want to keep around because it's something different. Be like, oh, you know, I kind of want that, you know? But I definitely am going to recommend that flavor. It's, it's pretty good. As I said, great vapor production, though. It definitely puts out uh, vapor like you wouldn't believe. All right. Next on my list is the Layered Lemon Cake. Creamy Citric Dessert. As I said, it smells amazing. So let's go ahead and give this one a shot. I realize soda's probably not the best idea for, you know, something to have between vapes, but... All right. Going on to this one. E-Pure, guys. I'm judging. Another mild flavor. It's subtle. It definitely does have that lemon pound cake flavor. I wouldn't say it's a layered cake, uh, but it definitely has like that lemon pound cake flavor to it. It's very cakey. Not overpowering on the lemon, which is actually fantastic because a lot of lemon flavors, they're really strong. You get a little strong lemon on like cereal flavors, lemon flavors, example. My, la my last uh, sample box had a straight lemon flavor and it was actually really good, but very strong. This one has a mild throat hit to it. Very mild throat hit to it. Very sweet. Definitely I'm going to recommend this one uh, to you guys. Great vapor production though too. All right, next flavor is the Menthol Chill, which we will save for last. Uh, moving on is Oblivion. This is the Strawberry, Guava, and Vanilla Cream. Now, I have had strawberries and cream. I have had strawberries and guava. I have had guava. I can tell you what a guava tastes like now, kind of. Uh, but this flavor promises to be pretty tasty because I love all of those flavors together uh, or separately in, uh, anyway. I can't talk apparently, but I love all of those flavors separately. Strawberry is a wonderful vape flavor. Guava is just amazing. It's got a great taste to it. Vanilla cream, you can never go wrong with vanilla cream. Mix all those flavors together. It could be really good. It could be really bad. We'll find out. Burp. Jeez, excuse me. Burp. Really good. 
Very strong on the uh, guava on the inhale, strawberry on the exhale, smooth creaminess of that vanilla cream uh, throughout. It has a mild throat hit to it. Great vapor production. I'm definitely going to recommend this flavor, not just because of the flavor itself. The bottle is amazing. The everything about it just it it, it um, clicks. Ah, there we go. It clicks with me. Like that is a good flavor for me. I enjoy that one. Oh man. My whole room here is just a haze of, of vapor. It's amazing. Uh, my AC in the background is just chugging along to keep up. I, I don't want to see what my living room looks like because it's pulling all the air out of the kitchen dining room area that I'm at right now and into there. So <laughs> it's probably just completely fogged out. Uh, but that is definitely a recommended flavor. Red Whip, ripe strawberries and fresh cream. Again, I have had this flavor before. I do not have this flavor anymore because it was delicious. So we're going to do the actual review on this uh, because I don't remember if I did one. It may have been before I started doing reviews a year ago. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. Mild vapor production on this. It doesn't put out as much vapor as the other flavors I've had thus far, but it still produces a decent amount. It's still impressive. Uh, definitely very smooth, no throat hit whatsoever. Uh, and very, it's got a, it definitely has a strong, fresh, ripe strawberry flavor on the inhale. The exhale is a little bit more mild, and I, I, I enjoy that flavor. It will not last me. The other bottle didn't. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just didn't take a, take a big enough hit. That's possible. Uh, but that is definitely one for the books. I definitely recommend that flavor. Next up, we have Vis Adiv, whatever, however you pronounce that, guys. Uh, that was Royal Heights on the Red Whip. This one is Suck My Juice. <laughs> just can't say it without attitude. It's great. <laughs> really, really nice label it's just like it it stands out like I'll be able to find that in my collection no problem all right take a drink and here we go again strawberries and cream Very good. Very, very tasty, actually. Uh, it's got a strong cream inhale. The exhale's where the strawberry's at. I can still taste that strawberry on my tongue, like as I'm breathing out, cut through the nose, whatever. Like, I can smell the strawberries. I can taste the strawberries as I'm exhaling. Amazing vapor production on this one. Uh, it's It has a different flavor than the Red Whip. Uh, the strawberries and cream from the Red Whip because this one tastes more candy. Ugh, excuse me, burp again. This one is more candy flavor, kind of like the strawberries, kind of like the hard candies, the, the hard strawberry candies. And I know you know which ones I'm talking about. You know, little red and green wrappers. It's um, actually it's very tasty. It's very delicious. I'm recommending that flavor as well. So far, they have yet to let me down. Probably the weakest flavor in this box thus far would probably be the Big Haze, just because it's so mild. All these other flavors just stand out really strong against that mild flavor. But the Big Haze wasn't bad. Fantastic. Last one on the list is my Menthol Chill. It is just straight menthol. Just a couple drops. We're not going to overload it. <sighs> breathe, Quest, breathe. There we go. Definitely good vapor production on that. It is definitely menthol. 
Uh, it's that cooling menthol sensation. I can still feel it in the back of my throat. No throat hit whatsoever, which is actually really nice. Uh, but it's got that cooling sensation on the way down. So it's actually a really nice summer flavor. I could vape that one. I could definitely hit that one on my dripper, no problem. Uh, and that's actually saying a lot for a menthol flavor on a dripper. Uh, specifically, a straight menthol flavor on a dripper. So... I'm definitely recommending that one. My flavor of the day, guys, I gotta give it to Oblivion uh, because it was just, it was probably the one flavor that standed out the, stood out the most among all six flavors. So, way to go, guys, over at Serum. Strawberry, guava, and vanilla cream. Oblivion knocked it out of the park for me. So, that's what I've got. As always, have a great week and vape on.